What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So you might be wondering why there's some tires behind me and that's because we're gonna go take another trip to my buddy Kevin's shop. So we're gonna go see him so he can put tires on this Jeep because it's time. We've put about 62 to 64,000 miles on the tires that are on now and they're pretty worn out. So not only that, I I'm pretty sure um, it developed one of the tires or at least one of the tires developed like a bubble because the steering wheel is shaking like crazy so check this out I need to get a wide angle lens for this camera but I'm not holding the steering wheel and I'm only doing not even 30 and the steering wheel shakes so we definitely have to address that i'm hoping it's the tires like i said we got new ones and they were worn out anyway so if it was indeed the tires then awesome um if not then it's probably like a worn out bushing or something i don't i don't know um but i'm hoping it is the tires so that we can get this problem resolved because this thing right now it's shaking when i'm driving like when i'm accelerating it shakes <laughs> when i brake, it shakes as well because the rotors are warped like crazy on this thing. So we got a ton of work to do. Um, today we are going to put tires on it. We're gonna change the air filter and we are also going to change the wiper blades. Like I said, I also have to do the brakes on that, but that'll be on a later video because we're planning on taking this thing on a six plus hour road trip. So it definitely needs to be checked out before then. So I'm gonna do all these things to prepare for that. So right now I'm on my way to the dealership to pick up some parts and then after that I will go to advance because I have some other things on order. But for that I'll do the curbside pickup. Definitely need to fix this. All right, the dreaded stealership. All right, let's go in. Well, boys, I came for wiper blades and they actually only had one, so I'm gonna have to come back for the other one. It's unfortunate, but it happens, so we'll just be back tomorrow. But for now, one stop done and one more to go. Yeah. Lemus? Yep. Thank you. Do you have a brother who drives a Ram pickup? No. Lemus? <laughs> no. I have a brother who drives a Honda Accord. <laughs> Guys, if you're not taking advantage of this curbside pickup, what's wrong with you? It's so easy and convenient. And the reason why I go to Advance a lot, I have that and AutoZone close to me, but I go to Advance because when you go to order something online, they always give you a coupon for like 15 or 20% off. And no one else does that, so why not? You get the part cheaper and they have curbside so just pull up and they'll bring it right out to you so now that we got both our errands taken care of we can now go ahead and take the tires over to kevin so he can mount and balance them on the jeep and my plan is i'm gonna tell him to do the tires and then i'm gonna drive it around just up and down the street um, if it stops shaking that means that the shaking was from the tires so i'll have him hopefully do an alignment on the car um, if it still shakes then that means I have something else to worry about so I'll go ahead and address that before I you know ask him to do an alignment on this thing but yeah we're gonna hit him up and then we should be there in a little bit all right boys it got late on us as you can see it's getting very dark but the tires were done and the shaking is gone so we're gonna be back tomorrow for the alignment and we'll do all the other little stuff tomorrow as well but shaking is done so tomorrow can't figure out how to leave this thing in neutral while we do the alignment not sure why it keeps going into park when I turn it off or when I get out so I'm in here for now world-class tech right here <laughs> with the precise alignments we don't just tow and go out here. Yeah, we do it all. Can't catch the tow. 
we got the tie rod ends pre-soaked in some PB blaster. Got it? Hell yeah. <laughs> so she's good to go. Toe is good. Camber is good. So when we adjusted the camber, the caster went out a little bit but it's basically out almost even on both sides you can see the center of it is basically right in the middle so it's not gonna being that they're almost far out the same amount it's not gonna make it pull anywhere all right guys so we got the tires put on we got the alignment done and now we have to go ahead and throw the wipers on and I also got a air filter for this thing because I actually have never changed the air filter on this thing I always pull it out when I check it it looks you know a little bit dirty but not too bad and I usually clean it and I'm like looks good they've never actually gotten bad enough to where I'm like oh crap I need to change it but since we're going on a road trip and it's been like 62, 64,000 miles, I think it's time now. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a new one in there. All right, so just gotta pop these two clips off and we should be good to go. Right, guys that's the most dust that I've seen fly off this thing ever but basically back to what I was saying earlier look if you look at it it's all yellow still you know from the sides everywhere it's not like black and when you open it up well I broke it here I broke this little retainer that it has here I broke it in there and there's no trash in between so like I said I think it's still good you know just got to keep dusting it off and we should be fine, but let's throw a new one in there anyways. And this one's white, so we're really going to be able to tell when this one's dirty. But um, I got just a cheap one off Amazon. Um, it does have really good ratings, but again, it's cheap. My plan is to just run this, and then by the time it needs a new filter after this one, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get an aftermarket intake just to get you know better sound basically the improvement isn't all that but it'll look better under the hood it'll be easier to remove all of this if i need to work on it and it'll sound a lot better so let's go ahead and throw this in there we go new filter is in now onto the wiper blades. I always, always go with OEM wiper blades because the, the what's important really is the rubber down here. That's the important part. Um, but OEM wiper blades actually like contour the windshield a lot better. I've used a lot of high-end aftermarket ones and I've had bad experiences with them. So I always stick with OEM. Alright, got that taken care of. Um, the reason why we changed them was because 
as you can see, starting to tear, so this is no good anymore. There you go. But we got new ones on there, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and test them out. Oh yeah. Gotta love OEM wiper blades. Now the last thing I want to do is replace some lights. Um, I'm going to be doing the reverse lights on it, but the thing with this car is it has two reverse lights on each side, so we got two sets right here, but I'm going to be doing that when it gets a little darker outside so you guys can see you know, the full effect of these Cree LED lights. So like I said earlier, there's nothing better than OEM wiper blades because they contour the windshield a lot better. So this car, like I said, needs to have this situation fixed, um, but it looks like one of these is the right size. So I'm going to be holding on to these. I'm going to get some replacement wiper inserts, um, put them in here, and then these are going to be the ones I'm going to be running on this car. Well, we'll see. Maybe not both of them. I think just one. That's a little teaser for you guys on what's about to happen with this car in the near future so stay tuned for that but man those wheels look sick later that same evening all right i think it's dark enough to start doing the tail lights on this or the reverse lights so we're gonna start with these they just have two clips right here both sides and then they just pop out like that Ooh. And it should just pop out. There we go. And the reverse light is the bottom one. Alright, so we're gonna let this hang. Grab a new one. Hopefully, it's not too long though. It seems pretty long. seems super long. Yeah. Let's find out. If it will fit. It fits? Mm -hmm. And then it just slides right in. And you just throw your clips back in. That one is done. Now to get this one. I think we just have to get like a little pry tool in there and start unclipping it. All right, so you wiggle it out. You put your new one in. This one's also very long, but the other one fits, so let's cross our fingers. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to test it real quick, all right? All right. Whoa, it looks nice. Good? Yep, thumbnail time. This bulb is super hot, dude. Really? All right. Hold on. One, two, three. <gasps> Ooh. Where'd it go? Right there. It's about to fall. Having bad luck today, dude. Why? Because I had a 50-50 shot on that side and got it wrong. Had a 50-50 shot on this side, got it wrong too. <laughs> I like how bright it's gonna be though. Oh yeah, it's gonna be bright. You wanna put them in? I'm a pro. Test. Let's we're see. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dude, it's so bright. It looks like daytime. 
nice. Looks really cool now. It looks yeah. nice, yeah. Yep, they're both good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh. What? I'm gonna go get a razor blade, go get the stickers. Oh, uh, yeah, our tags have been expired for uh, six months. We have forgotten for how many months now? Six. Since February? Mm -hmm. That's six months? I think so. <laughs> March, April, May, June, July, August. Almost seven because we're like halfway through. I'm surprised we haven't gotten pulled over for this. I have a problem with forgetting to put these stickers on. My Subaru, I have one from last year and one from two years ago. <laughs> two years ago on the front. Last year on the back, just because I went to a long, we did that long cruise slash meet that one day, remember? Yeah. So I changed the back one just in case the cop got behind me, but the front is two years old. And I don't like just slapping a sticker on top of the other sticker. I like scraping the old one off. Cause I hate, dude, there's people that have like a thick piece right here because they just slap a sticker, slap a sticker. Does it even stick well after so many? Yeah, I mean, you yeah. just have to clean the surface. There we go. What now? Now we just put the back back together and we are done. I feel like there's one missing. There we go. <laughs> All right. And now we are completely done. Hey guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep moving forward, stay on the gas.